Welcome to my channel, Australian Women's Life and Style. This week I've got a bit of a highly requested video for you. This is actually a viewer's requested video. I had one of my amazing OGs write to me, Candy, and she lovingly gave me a great idea for a video. And it was to have a little look around my beauty room or my walk-in wardrobe. And my beautiful Julie had a great idea as well in the comments last week that she would like to see my favorite items in my walk-in wardrobe. So I thought I'd do today a bit of a wardrobe tour and then my favorites in beauty and accessories. I'm very excited to share this with you guys. <laughs> so if you like these types of videos and content for Australian women, I would love you to join me and subscribe to my channel. Um, give this video a like as it really does help my video get out into the algorithm. I've only got a very small channel and all of these little things really help my channel grow. So thank you so much for your support. <laughs> Before I show you around in here, I just want to do like a little disclaimer. If you're triggered by luxury accessories, please click off now because this video is not for you. I know some people get a little bit funny about that and I don't want to upset anyone. This is all just a bit of fun and I also just wanted to mention as well that I am not a wealthy person at all. I am a stay-at-home mum. I am 48 years old and when I was in my 20s I was a professional makeup artist that worked in film and television. So I have hoarded things right back from the 90s right to now. So I have a lot of stuff. I'm a hoarder, a full hoarder. <laughs> A lot of things I've been collecting for probably nearly 30 years. Like I've been, things have been handed down to me and then I've also been collecting things along the way. When I turned 35, I decided that I was going to start putting money away for special quality luxury accessories. I do save my money on clothes, um, but when it comes to luxury accessories like handbags and shoes, I do like to spend money on those because they make my cheaper clothes look more expensive. That's my whole styling game, basically. When I was working in film and television, that's what a lot of the stylists do that I worked with, and I thought that's such a fabulous idea. And I think it's just about creating an illusion, really. So, you know, I could have a Kmart dress on for $30, put on a beautiful Dior belt and some really nice shoes and a nice handbag, and it looks like I've got something on that is luxury, when really I don't. So how I look at it when it comes to luxury is my cost per wear. I will use that for decades to come and I wear it over and over and over again. So I don't buy lots and lots of different things. I've got a very small little collection that I've been working on for about 15 years. It's just something that I do very slowly. Luckily, I've been able to accumulate a lot of beautiful things. Before I started doing this, I was a receptionist on a minimum wage in hospitality. So we're definitely not rich. So I just wanted to make that very clear. I don't want to give off the wrong impression that, you know, we're multi-millionaires when we are far, far, far from that. I just love, I love, 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 love fashion and just the whole fashion world. So now that I've said all that, let's get into it. I'm really excited to show you my walk-in wardrobe and all my beautiful little things, and they're beautiful to me. Let's have a look. So what we did was went to Ikea and I took measurements of the room and then basically they built the room on the computer. It's so clever. This is actually called the Pax wardrobe from Ikea and they measured it all up. Like I just gave them the measurements of the room and told them what I wanted, how many shelves, that type of thing. I was considering having no doors and having it all open, but I'm just not one of those clean freaks. <laughs> I like things to be organized and obviously clean, but I'm not super, super organized. So I thought the doors were best for me to have so I could hide the mess away. And if it, everything wasn't perfect, it wasn't gonna give me anxiety. <laughs> 
So I decided to go with the mirror doors, which I'm really happy that I did because it really makes this room feel a lot brighter because of all the reflection when you're in here. Starting over here is the makeup table, which I just love. I've got that, I think they're called Alexa drawers, which a lot of the YouTube beauty YouTubers have, which are really handy to store makeup and everything in. And then coming over here, so I've just got, this is the bag that I'm using at the moment and my sunnies. <laughs> I've got a beautiful little orchid here. Now this I got, I can't remember, I've had it for probably about 10 years actually, and so many places have these types of things. Kmart even has some, might even have something similar now, but it's really handy and I've just got all the makeup that I use day to day in this section here and my perfumes. And then coming across over here, I've got some candles going. This, uh, this is my gorgeous mum here, and this is actually a little uh, key ring that she had given me many years ago, which is broken unfortunately, but I just keep it there. And it, um, and it says to Lissy because that's what my family and friends call me and my name's Melissa but they call me Lissy and it says love mum there but that is my beautiful mum there she is unfortunately the photo um unfortunately the fold the photo has got a little bit of damage to it and I've just got to keep such good care of those because I can't get any photos of her anymore unfortunately she has gone to heaven <laughs> but I love having a little photo there of her. So when I get ready, I can see her. <laughs> and this photo here is me on my hen's night and I was having the best time as you can see right there. <laughs> uh, we were all dressed up for my hens. But then over here I've got, so all my brushes and just lip liners and mascaras that I use every day. This mirror here, I also got on Amazon, which is fantastic with the lights, the Hollywood lights, I love that. And down here is my skincare, which is JS Health. Now I do have a discount code for you guys, highly recommend JS Health, and I'll talk a bit more about that later in the video. I love having um, greenery, like real life greenery in my room, in, in my beauty room. I just think it makes it look so special. And I've got one of my little, and I've got one of my little crystals there. And, and then along here are all my older shoes that I've had for a long time, but I still love them. Got some great little platforms and some little cage shoes, which I love. Um, and then lots up here as well, but these are not expensive shoes. Basically all of these, I think the most expensive would be like a Whitner pair. And my daughter can't wait to get her hands on these. <laughs> and then coming into, then coming into here, here is all my tops and some knitwear and hoodies. So I've got all my shirts. So all of this along here are all my button up shirts. And then I try to do it in color coordination. All these along here are all button up shirts. And then I've got these that go from t-shirts into long sleeve tops. And I've got sort of in white, gray, navy. And then as you can see, I love black, <laughs> a lot of black. <laughs> That's my comfort zone right there. <laughs> And then coming down here is a bit more colour. So these are all my sort of going out tops along here that we, with like longer sleeves. And then I've got my knitwear and hoodies down here. So lots of beautiful things. As you can see, this is like the sparkly zone. I love sparkle, especially if I'm going out somewhere. That's my favourite sort of thing to do, to wear. And then I've got more knit, more, more casual knitwear and then some hoodies here. But when I'm getting dressed, I find it so easy when I've got it color coded like that. So if I'm wearing some, like, just say I've got like white jeans and I think, oh, I want to wear a black top. All my black tops are together. All my black knitwear is together. So then when I'm getting ready, I can just go straight to that area. Or if I think, oh, I need a yellow shirt and I've got all the yellow stuff all together. So then I go and can find it that way. Just having it sort of color coded like that just helps so much, especially when you're in a hurry. Or, or if you're like me, a fashion panic, you've tried on a million things and you're like, oh, I don't know what to wear. <laughs> and you've got stuff everywhere. At least when it's like this, you, you're a bit more organized. <laughs> Coming into this little corner area. This is so cool, this part here. So it opens up and then you've got like a whole section here. Very smart how they use the corner sections of the PAX wardrobes from Ikea. So it's quite deep, it goes into there. And then I decided to have shelving and some drawers along here. This little section along here is where I get dressed pretty much every day. A lot of my Kmart things are here. Although I've got my little denim midi skirts, which I'm loving at the moment. But these dresses I live in. When I'm at home, I wear these so much. They're, 30, they're the $30 knit dresses from Kmart. I love wearing these like long cardigans and I wear them over the top of the dresses. When I'm at home, I live in these and it's just so easy to get dressed and look nice. 
um, and you've just got like a dress on but I will go over that with you guys next week <laughs> They're, like long cardigans as you can see there and then it goes into my blazers and jackets unfortunately the black is throwing my lighting off a little bit so I've got like all my black cardi like cardigans blazers jackets and then it goes down into the different color zones with all different ones denim lots more down there <laughs> as you can see i am a serious hoarder <laughs> um, up there is my little sewing machine that i got from aldi which is so good and handy to have a um, little basket bag for the beach and then down here i've got some scarves sort of these are like my yoga pants and just sort of casual knitted pants scarves and hats and then i've got some jewelry this is all sort of i don't have a lot of jewelry um i know it looks a lot a lot of this has been handed down to me like from my grandma or my mum um but that's i don't really have too much um jewelry i don't buy a lot of it i just have the things pretty much that i wear every day and that's it <laughs> in these drawers are my bikinis one pieces and beach stuff down the bottom here and then on the bottom row now it's going to be a bit hard to see but if i lift that up so under these long coats here i do have all my singlets and i don't wear singlets very often to be honest with you anymore i think i sort of hit 45 and i was like mm, maybe singlets aren't for me anymore <laughs> i wear them underneath things but i don't wear them a lot so i've got them all under here and then from here i have all my denim i've got my white jeans black jeans uh, blue jeans and then dark denim jeans there you can see that probably can see it a bit better that way and yes then i've got my sneakers and flats down here but yeah that's the corner section so coming into these drawers here are all my pajamas so these are more my sort of summer pajamas little camisole sets and shorts that type of thing um, I do have ones from Kmart. Um, a lot of these I did get from uh, Bras and Things, which I love. And I try to keep it in this Marie Kondo style folding. I just find that I get a lot more into it when I do this and it's a bit easier to see. And then I've got my sort of long, more winter style pajamas, my little Kmart tracksuits, which I love, some old t-shirts that I wear around the house. Uh, and then these also, that's the Kmart velvet um, tracksuit, which I wear all the time. Uh, these knitted ones here are from Zara and I bought them in lockdown. Um, they're definitely on one of my hauls back in like 2020, 21. <laughs> and they wash so well. I love their knitted um, tracksuits or jogger sets, I think they're called. And then these little couple more little velvet ones from Aldi and just some old hoodies that I keep in there as well. Okay, now coming into the accessories pull this out so these are my sunglasses we have a couple of pairs from chanel these are tiffany ones which i've had for like 15 years i think <laughs> some old von um, von dutch ones so i've got lots of and then I'll, a lot of the key australia ones which were the desi perkins collab um and i love those sunnies they're so nice a couple of little fans that were given to me from my grandma and then this is an old vintage belt actually which is gorgeous it's got this little marker seed stones in it and i just love the the bling so whenever i need something like that for nighttime i've got that there love vintage stuff <laughs> and then coming into these sections here so i showed you these lights last week i love these lights they're from kmart and they've really given me that shop kind of vibe which is what i was hoping for if you remember me telling you last week how my dream was to have a wardrobe like Khloe Kardashian's, <laughs> I just want to have that, you know, I want to feel like I walk into a store basically um, and I love having everything laid out. It just makes, I don't know, it's just one of those things, it's the simple things that really bring me joy and this brings me joy. <laughs> so having the lights is just beautiful. I love them. So let me show you what's in there. I do have a few belts. I've just sort of you know styled them up a little bit all over the place just to kind of you know just to change things up a little bit but i've got so a Gu two gucci belts and my ysl belt i get so much wear out of this some gucci thongs and these go together this here is a dior visor which i love it's got the christian dior on the back love that I oh I actually saw one of the housewives of, I think, Beverly Hills wearing it. And I was like, that's it. I've got to find it. And I had to track it down. <laughs> and, um, and yeah, I managed to get my hands on one. And then up here is, 
um, my drill belt, which my family gave me for Christmas one year, which you'd see all of, you've actually seen me, I think, open all of these things on my channel. If you go back, back, way back, <laughs> uh, then I, I love these ones so much. I got them in the gold and then I've got the YSL uh, flats as well. And I love these sandals, a uh, little Jimmy Choo bag, which was one of my first purchases. Love that. Um, a little Dior. It's, it came in one of the Christmas um, beauty packs that they had. They had these special things at Christmas time and I just love it. I think it's so pretty. This little crystal jewellery set holder here was my mother's and I got that there just because it's very special um, from her. And then coming up here, this little thing here was actually... It's a Schwarzky crystal and it was in my wedding bouquet. <laughs> and then I've got my sunglass cases. This is a little vintage bag, which I love. And I've had that for a long, long time. And then some Valentino boots, um, which I love as well. The YSL bag, I highly recommend if you're wanting to get into luxury. And YSL is a fantastic starting point. They're beautiful bags and I just, I love my YSL bag. This here I lusted after for decades, decades. <laughs> and this one here is my Gucci Bloom bag. And I absolutely love this bag as well. It's so beautiful and I've worn it a lot. <laughs> I just think it's one of the most gorgeous Gucci bags with the beautiful hand painting of the flowers. And it's also, and it's also on the back as well. It's just such a gorgeous bag. Very, very pretty. It's one of my favorite styles of the Gucci bags. I actually got this bag duty free when we went on our first family holiday overseas and we went to Fiji. And this was a lovely little thing to bring back. <laughs> um, they are Christian Louboutins and I love those little red bottoms. The only pair I've ever bought. And I don't know if I'd ever buy them again because they are so uncomfortable, but so gorgeous. Then I've just got my sandals and some special high heels that are here. These here are from Louis Vuitton. These are some Chanel little sandals I love. Uh, Valentino ones here. Valentino, Jimmy Choo's, Dior's, and some Valentino's. I love the rock studs, I think they're gorgeous. And then I've shown you these boots in the last couple of weeks in my hauls. They were from Pedal and Pup. And then I've got my sneakers, which I absolutely, I think that these are some of the best these are some of the best purchases I've ever ma made, um, is getting some really great sneakers that look really chic. I love the Louis Vuitton ones. I highly recommend them. These actually have like a five centimeter lift in them. So they make you really tall and, and it's hidden. So you can't tell. And then they, um, these are my Chanel sneakers, which I love. I wanted to get a really nice pair of white ones and I think they're really beautiful. Definitely need a really good clean. I'm actually going to take them to like a special place to get them cleaned up, but I do love them. And then down here, I've got some, this is some extra knitwear. And then in here is my workout gear or my tights, that type of thing and some shorts. And then in here are these, they're cute little sets actually that I got from... Where did I get them from? From Cotton On Body. And I got, I got them a few years ago. It must have been in lockdown, actually, when we were all at home. <laughs> and I got them in all the colours. And they're just like little shorts and T-shirts in this really nice little knitted material. And in summertime, I live in those. So, yeah. And then coming over here into this cupboard. I've got all sort of like day dresses, basically, um, day dresses and jumpsuits, all my pretty, like, I love floral dresses. They're my, like, one of my favorites. And then next would be the black dresses, which I love as well. Then white and the couple of colored ones there. So you can see that there. But this is more day, probably more day style dresses. Um, and some, you know, fancy going out ones, but a lot of the daytime ones. And then I have, now I told you I was a hoarder. <laughs> and then I've got another wardrobe in my bedroom, which has got all my sort of fancy dresses in. And they are ones that I've pretty much collected my whole life. Like I've never, I don't throw things out very often unless I was 
unless I've put on like a lot of weight and I don't fit into it I either hang on to them to give to my daughter or I just know that fashion always comes back around again so I tend to not get rid of a lot of things a lot of things if they're still in good in good condition I can, then I do you know pass them on uh, either to friends and family or to uh, or to charity okay so I'll quickly show you what's in these sort of Alex drawers here so coming down into here so I've got my beauty blenders here and some wipes and my eye drops. Uh, so here are some eyeshadow palettes and setting sprays and some pens and a little bit of oh this is a this is cute actually it's a little bookmark that my mum gave me and another little book that if I've got any ideas I like to write things down. And here I've got here I've got some concealers. So these these things here I don't tend to wear as often but I like to have them or I've bought them and they're okay I don't like to use them all the time um, so so I've got some lipsticks here some eye pencils concealers some foundations and in here this is the Sarah's Day um, deodorant which is really nice it's a natural deodorant lashes blushes and some other lipsticks and stuff like that oh and these little so <laughs> these little things are fantastic if you get sore feet in sh uh, shoes these are fantastic and down here is some makeup uh, makeup bags and some camera equipment and then on this side here I've got my hair stuff so like my brushes and combs and some clips and then this is some hair stuff so the Just Smooth, the Intensive Spray, these are some leave-in conditioners, and some more stuff in the back there, or hair products, uh, hairspray, some curlers, some whey stuff, and cotton buds. These are all my dust bags and things like that for my luxury bags and shoes and when I go away. And this jumper here is my hair dye jumper <laughs> when I dye my hair. And then that's just a little duster and my little mermaid thing. So there's some other hair tools in there. But yeah. But it's getting really dark in here. <laughs> I hope that you can see well. I'm sorry that the lighting's gone. Sun. So you just can't pick it. It was like, it, it's been sunny. Like you can see like it is sunny outside, but it's just not really sunny. So I hope that you can see okay. And I also wanted to show you, this is how you see the ending of my videos. My daughter drew this picture, which I absolutely adore. So it's my husband and Teddy, my son, my daughter and myself. So, so cute. <laughs> I love that my little orchids have just come back out. I've had this plant for about five years now and it comes back every year and they've just started to open up and they're so beautiful. <laughs> but I'll just move it across to here. Now in this section here are my are my perfumes and I really love the Kayali, the Vanilla 28. This one I've been wearing since oh, since it came out, which would probably be 20 years, I'd say. It's Anasui Dreams. I love that one. I love the I love the sea, especially this one here. It's got the sparkles in it. You can see it's so pretty. This is a really nice perfume from uh, Chemist Warehouse, actually. It smells really nice, very inexpensive, but I like that perfume. This one here is my favorite hand cream. It really does moisturize your hands. It's fantastic. So here is my eyeshadow palettes, and I am obsessed with the Anastasia Beverly Hills. All of her palettes are fantastic, and I highly, highly recommend. I love them. Uh, this is all my like foundations. I love the Giorgio Armani Power Fabric. It's fantastic. The, the Too Faced Born This Way Concealer is one of my favorites. But I do use that more on my face than, un than my under eyes. My favorite under eye concealer is the Tarte Shape, Ta Shape Tape, which is fantastic. Um, I really do love the Hollywood Flawless Filter from, um, from Charlotte Tilbury. It's fantastic. This is a Bobbi Brown. It's a foundation stick, but I use it for contouring. And the color is Chestnut, actually. It's fantastic for contouring. The Born This Way foundation is unreal. And this here is the Dior Air Flash foundation. When I go out somewhere special, I really like using that one. And then here's all I've got on my blushes been loved and well used so the Laguna bronzer and the orgasm blush I love that one but I've got lots of little blushes the Kylie Jenner ones great Stiller ones are fantastic and they're all pink I love pink um 
some bronzers which are really good this one's a nice one but it is overseas so it's a bit annoying to try and get Laura Mercier the translucent powder the best and then I love these little eye dusts from Napoleon Purtis and my favorite color definitely is the starlight one I love that one bit of shimmer and then these they're just little loose powders I would show you these but you can't get them anymore I don't think and they're the NYX baked, baked blushes and I love those and then lots of lipsticks, Kylie Jenner, Dior, lots of Dior's because I always buy the Christmas pack um, and you normally get about six lipsticks each year. So I'd get those and lots of Kylie. I really like the Kylie ones and the Revlon ones, which are great as well. A couple of Charlotte Tilbury's as well. And here is my favorite skincare. I'm honestly having such fantastic results from this skincare. I had such bad hormonal breakouts and since i've been using this they've really cleared up i'm really seeing such a big difference in my skin since using the js health products here's a little photo of my skin not that long ago i had such a bad breakout and it just was not getting under control and since i started using the js health products my skin's gotten so much better and i just highly highly recommend them um, they've got such an amazing reputation and and that is because they are incredible it really has helped give my skin such a beautiful healthy complexion that is re that's really hydrated and just looks and feels so much better it feels like a hug when you use it it's really really good i highly recommend it their vitamins and their collagen as well recommend them all i do have a 15 percent off discount code for you guys so it is awls 15 to get 15 percent off but you can hear that noise in the background it's this little monkey come here It's this little monkey growling in the background. What you doing? Oh, you're such a good boy. So when it comes to the luxury favourites, I thought I'd just show you a couple. Um, this would be my favourite jewellery piece that I've bought. It's a Chanel chain. So it's actually a brooch and it pins on and I love it because I can wear it like it looks so it looks like a necklace. I can wear it so it looks like a belt um, on a lapel of a jacket looks really amazing. And I, and I just think it's really beautiful and it's like a little chain piece. So you can see there, <laughs> it's lovely. <laughs> um, I'd say when it comes to handbags, there's only really one handbag that I ever lusted after so hard. I think from the moment that I watched The Simple Life back in the 90s with Paris Hilton and Nicole Richie, I was obsessed with Nicole Richie and I just wanted so badly an 80s or 90s um, vintage Chanel handbag and I ended up getting ones. Now I couldn't afford to get a brand new Chanel bag, I, there's just no way, so mine is a second hand and obviously I needed to have it second hand if I wanted to get an, 80, an 80s or 90s Chanel bag anyway because their chains in at that in that time were actually were a real gold. Um, these days I don't believe that they are. So this here I was very lucky to get in perfect condition and I got it on Vestier Collective. They're a trusted secondhand um, place to buy them. Like, uh, and it came with it came with everything, the box and everything, and the all the authenticity card, everything. So this is my prize, my baby of all babies. Like it's really the only bag that I ever need. But I had already purchased all of the other ones before I bought this one and I haven't never bought a bag since. So and I don't think I probably will. I think this is, you know, if anything, if I ever win the lottery, maybe I'll get another one that's like in the lighter colour. <laughs> uh, but this at the moment is all that I need. I'd say for sentimental reasons that these here are my these here are my favourite shoes because I got married in these. As you can see, they they're well loved and well worn. Uh, lots of dancing and having fun in these. Well, every year on our wedding anniversary, I wear these, but I just love these. They're my Cinderella shoes, and they're very very special to me. And another pair of shoes that aren't so much sentimental, but I just adore are uh, these. Are these D Christian Dior shoes which are just so beautiful I love that they've got the little polka dots and they've got the little sparkles there they're not too they're actually really comfortable they're not too high either um, I'm a bit of an unco person when it comes to heels I'm not very good at walking in them so I don't need them any really higher than this <laughs> but I love these these are 
just beautiful. Like I saw these and just love hearts. We're like, meh, meh, meh. <laughs> I had to get them. <laughs> So when it comes to belts, uh, this one I love so much because my family gave it to me and I just think it makes any like dress just go that next level. I love wearing it around the waist of a dress. I think it's beautiful. I also really love it around a blazer as well. It looks really nice that way too. Oh, it's getting so dark. I'm so sorry. And this belt here, actually, I'll take it off so I can show you. If you can and you're looking at buying luxury belts, try and get ones that you can get two for one. So this is pink, like a baby pink on one side and then it's got the, the monogram on the other side. And then this you just take off so you can swap it depending on what side you want to have it. So it's a two for one, which is fantastic. So my little man had to come and say say goodbye to everyone, didn't you darling? You want to say goodbye to all your girlfriends? He's so fluffy at the moment. Look at him. Jay, you're so fluffy. I've got my full winter coat on. Isn't he adorable? <laughs> you say hi, everyone. Hi. I hope that you have really enjoyed having a little sticky beak in my walk-in wardrobe and seeing some of my favourite things. And if any of you have any other ideas that you'd like me to film for you, please leave them in the comments or write me an email. My email is australianwomenslifeandstyle at outlook.com and I'll put that along here for you. Um, or even write to me on Instagram or TikTok as well, because I'd love to, you know, I love making videos for you guys and ones that you want to see. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and leave me a comment because I can't wait to hear your thoughts. And let me know what your favourite items are that you saw or even favourite items of your own wardrobe. I'd love to hear if you're a hoarder like me and keep everything. <laughs> and I'm just so grateful that you spent your precious time with me today. And I'm so sorry, I would have made this even longer, but the, the lighting's just gone. And you won't be able to see me if, it's, um, if it gets any worse than this. <laughs> so I hope that you just have the most magical week. And I love you guys so much. And thank you so much for being a part of my family. And I'll see you really soon. Bye. Please also join me over on my Instagram, Australian Women's Life and Style. I have links over there on everything that I do on YouTube. And I'll also notify you when I'm putting up a new video and what type of video. Um, I cover fashion, shopping, food, travel, everything. Everything that I do here, I do over there as well. So I'd love you to join me there. You can also start a save file. And anything that you see um, that you like, you can save it in your file. And when you go to the shops, then you've got it all there for yourself. But yeah, I'd love you to join me. Australian Women's Life and Style. I'm also over on TikTok as well under Australian Women's L-I-F. S-T-Y-L-E. So Australian women's lifestyle. <laughs>And then in the comments of last week's video, a lot of you also agreed that you'd love to see that. And Julie had the great idea of also shop. Um, and Julie also had the great. And Julie also had a fantastic idea of me showing. Um, and Julie also had a fantastic idea. She would like to see the favorites in my. Um, she like she. <laughs> and Julie. And then coming into my favorite beauty stuff. Oh. Hang on, the black's throwing it off. Oh yeah. So in here I've got, so. So basically I, so basically this room, so basic, oh. Look at him, what a good boy. I have put the lights on to make it a little bit brighter in here as you can see they're here so I hope they don't bother you it's really difficult because I've got mirrors on all of my doors and <laughs> it does reflect everything in the background so I can't really hide many things <laughs> can you believe that the light is gone and it's only can you see and it's only 120 isn't that crazy just dark winter time not fun for filming <laughs> it's all over <laughs> I'll see you next week. <laughs> oh my god. Join our family, please like and subscribe. <laughs> Join our waffles. One, two, three. Join, Join our family, please.
Please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.